Hey everybody, welcome back. And if you're new, my name is Chris, and today I'm gonna to be doing part one of my coconut series. I counted um, all my coconut fragrances and I counted over 23, and I have at least two that are coming, that are supposed to be coming by plane um, to add to my collection. So that's gonna be a long video, so I thought I'd divide it into two parts. There's no rhyme or reason, I just grabbed 12 or 13, threw them up on the mantle, and I'm gonna go through these fairly quickly because I think after part one and part two, I'm gonna take stock of what I have. I'm gonna declutter the ones that I haven't been using and I'm probably gonna do one more top 10 coconuts. So I'm just gonna jump right in. The fragrance I'm starting out with is a fragrance I actually wore today. It was my fragrance of the day and it is by Mansara and it is called Oud. Orchid, don't let the name fool you or scare you. There's very little oud in here, if any. It's mostly just a, a warm, woody note. But this is basically just a beautiful gourmand fragrance. It is fruity and floral with just an undercurrent of musk and woody notes. I think this has peach, coconut, jasmine, orange, amber, musk, there's vanilla, and there's definitely some sort of, like a warm woody note. I get it in the beginning, and then I actually get it in the dry down. There is orchid in here. Orchid is a fantasy note. It's just supposed to smell like an exotic and spicy floral, and I do get that, but the beauty is in the dry down. This fragrance on the dry down <coughs> smells like a gorgeous tropical flan, something that you would get like on a cruise ship like a coconut vanilla flan with a little bit of fruits in it that's decorated with those, you know, edible exotic florals and it's served in a wooden bowl. That's kind of what I get in this fragrance. I wore it to work. I had at least four people say, wow, you smell really, really good. You smell clean, you smell fresh, a little bit fruity. Nobody picked up on any wood or oody notes. So it's a very light, bright fragrance with a little bit of coconut, and I think it'll easy go, it'll go from day to night pretty easily, so great one. Next up on the list is a fragrance that's really new in my fragrance wardrobe. I've only had this for a couple days, but I have worn it for a couple days in a row, and it's one of the fragrances with coconut in it that I think could also go easily from day to night, and that is by Dolce & Gabbana, and it is called The Only One Intense. So let me get a quick spray of this, but, Coconut's not really the star in here, but it does have just a little bit of coconut. Um, when you first spray it, it's got this burst of um, some fruits, orange, apple, I think there's a little bit of neroli, and those combined kind of give me this nice, pleasant, like a bubblegum type of a smell. I don't know, like grape bubblegum. It's very clean, very fresh, very lovely. As the fragrance kind of dries down, I definitely get some sort of white florals in here, maybe jasmine, tuberose. The coconut, to be honest with you, for the couple times that I've worn this, the coconut's really kind of in the background. But I do kind of get a warm, coconutty type of smell in the dry down. It's a little bit woody, and it's pretty soft. It's not overpowering. And uh, even though it's not overpowering, it does last I can get you know five, six hours on this. I made the mistake of wearing this to an exercise class. I wouldn't recommend that. I could smell it the whole time. <laughs> Not the best one to wear it to an exercise class, but I was just testing it out. So yeah, that's a good one with a little bit of coconut um, and will do well, I think, year round, day and nighttime. Next one up is an oldie but a goodie, Estee Lauder Sensuous Nude. Of course, I will list everything down below like I always do. Um, this one is for somebody who doesn't really want that coconutty suntan lotion kind of a thing, looking for something else. This is, this is very soapy, very clean, kind of sits close to the skin, maybe a little bit of pepper, a little bit of musk in the beginning. Yeah, it's really nice. It dries down sandalwood and coconut, so it sits close to the skin, very appropriate for work. It's also a little bit peppery. You get a little bit of pepper in the beginning. Um, appropriate for work. This would be nice. I do sometimes spritz this before bed. 
yeah, it's a really good one um, that's kind of a little bit different than what's going on right now. Sensuous Nude. Next one up is a coconut fragrance for my gourmand lovers. If you don't like gourmands, you won't like this one. Fortunately, I do love gourmands. I love vanillas, coconuts, all that kind of yummy stuff. And this one is all about the gourmand coconut. This is Coconut Flan. And this is by the House of Ganache. Oh man, I love this. This is a really rich vanilla, caramel, coconut, almond cake right here. Oh, this is so, so good. If you like gourmands, like oh, coconut, almond, vanilla, caramel, man, this is so delicious. This actually um, lasts all day on me. I can get this to go. I'm not going to be wearing it in the 100 degree heat, but um, delicious, delicious coconut fragrance with a few other things in there for my foodie lovers. Next up is Vacation in a Bottle. This is Summer in a Bottle. It is Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. I love this fragrance. It just screams summer. It smells so good in here from all the spritzing. Um, this one is like the fanciest suntan lotion you can find. Like something that's been sold at a really nice resort. It's just very bright, very citrusy. Some sort of citruses in the top, probably bergamot and lime. I definitely get kind of an herbally greenness, maybe a little bit of woodiness. There is pedigrain in here, which can smell like that. The coconut in here is a coconut water type of a coconut. Um, it's really, really light and clean and crisp. It is a little bit peppery, but it's just beautiful. I love wearing this in the hot weather. This does really, really well, and I'll be wearing it a lot. Next one up is a fragrance I got from my friend Veronica in a sample swap, and it's called Beach Walk by Replica. I think this should be named Day at the Beach because it smells like you spent the day at the beach. I should know because I did kind of grow up on the beach. I grew up 20 minutes from the beach, and I went to the beach every weekend. And it just smells beachy. It smells salty. It smells like suntan oil, suntan lotion. There's there's musk, there's coconut in here. It's florally from Ylang Ylang. Basically, I get salty skin, you know, suntan lotion, a little bit of coconut in the ocean, and throw in some sand. Yeah, it just smells like the summer, smells like you spent the day at the beach, beach walk. Next one up is a flanker of Angel, and it's the 2019 flanker, and it's called Angel Au Crossier, I believe. Wait a minute, no, this is the 2020 version. The 2019 version is more of an, an orange ombre bottle, and it's based on mango, I think. I like this one better. I actually like it a lot better, and this one has fig in it, and coconut's not listed, but that I get coconut or a coconutty type of a vibe. It's a very summery, tropical take on Angel. You get creamy, you get Angel, but you get that creamy fig up at the top. It's a little bit nutty. Like I said, there's no coconut note, but maybe all that combined, the, the coconut, the, the Angel DNA, and the nuttiness, they just come together to smell a little bit coconutty. It's really, really pretty. One of my favorite flankers of Angel, and one that I think will do well in the summer, and it's a, it has a really nice dry down. So yeah, um, Angel Eau Crossier. Next up is one that I only have a travel spray in, and I'm actually kind of glad. This is really not my cup of tea, but just because it's not my thing doesn't mean somebody else won't like it. But um, yeah, I'm glad I got just a little travel spray of this, and it is called Tropicana by Lorenzo Villarisi. And I will, of course, list the name down below and maybe I'll put a picture over here. But basically, this is, um, the, whoa, this is like a blast of really sharp fruits right in the beginning. I mean, pineapple passion fruit, that's what I get. Pineapple passion fruit and a heavy, heavy dose of musk. This is like you had a truck full of tropical fruits heading in one direction and a truck full of musk and they collided and they came together and all collisions, as you know, aren't very good. 
So this is not a very good combination in my mind because it dries down coconutty, but there's um, there's like milk in here, or it's lactonic, it's milky, and the dry down, it kind of smells like rotten fruits. Musk. I find that when you add musk, fruit, and and milk, it it's not appealing to my nose. But definitely, maybe if you like passion fruit. And it might be somebody's cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. We'll probably be putting this on Macari, but worth mentioning and worth discussing. Um, so if you're thinking about blind buying, think again, at least get a travel spray. And if you really don't like lactonic and fruity type of notes, like those don't go well, this will not be your cup of tea. So Tropicana. Next one up, I have for sentimental reasons. It's by Pacifica. So if you like really natural, organic, I think it's organic fragrances. Um, this is Indian Coconut Nectar. And the reason why it's sentimental to me is uh, several years, my family went down and did a vacation in Table Rock, which is Southwest Missouri, one of my favorite parts of Missouri. It's really quite beautiful. And we stayed in this resort and they had, they sold the Pacifica, Pacifica line there. And I always like to get a fragrance either to take on vacation with me or buy it there. Because then when I get home, the fragrance when I wear it, it kind of reminds me of my vacation. So yeah, this one is straight up when you smell it. This is coconut snow cone. If you have kids or if you grew up in, um, in the South and we're at the swimming pool all the time, you know what this smells like. This is coconut snow cone. And then it dries down to basically kind of a Play-Doh-y type of a scent. So, you know, not my, not my favorite. Um, it might be someone's cup of tea and it's, it's nice that it's natural and I think it's organic, um, but I don't, I don't really pull for it anymore, but um, good, good memories with this one. Yeah. Indian coconut neck. Next up is something that is brand new in my collection. I have only had it for several days, um, but I'm head over heels in love with it. I can tell you right now, I will be wearing it all throughout the summer. It is beautiful. It has all the things that I love in a fragrance during the summertime. It's got citruses, it's got coconut water. It's delicious. And it is by Atelier Cologne. It is called Pacific Lime. So this is just so, it is so hot today. And if you hear my air conditioner, that's, I've got it running because it's blazing hot. And this is a great one to wear today. This is just like a blast of, oh, citruses in the beginning. I think there's lemon and lime. There's a little bit of mint in here. And the coconut is a coconut water type of a coconut. It smells like like a, a mojito, like the freshest mojito with an extra squeeze of lime. It is so, so nice. I love this one. It's great if you like the, the fresh and clean coconut water type of coconuts. Next one up is a fragrance I've had for about a year and I don't really pull for it that much, but it's called Korloff Gold by the House of Korloff. This is, you know, a non-foodie type of coconut. This has some soft flowers. I'm not exactly sure what the flowers are. Some sort of tropical flowers and coconut water. That's basically what I get. There's no vanilla in here. And it's not heavy. It's very, very light. You have to really overspray it. And it's it doesn't stick around very long, maybe to three to four hours, but it's very budget friendly. So that is Korloff Gold. All right, I'm at the last one already. I really sped through these. So if you don't like how fast I went, just comment down below and I will slow down on the next one. But I just really wanna get through these. So um, the next one is by Comptour Sud Pacifique. And these I think are really hit and miss with people. You either like them or you don't. This one is Coco Extreme. And I have another Comptour Sud Pacifique that I'm gonna do in my next round two. But um, yeah, this one is fairly simple. This to me smells like you took the inside of the coconut. So the coconut meat and you grated it to a fine powder. Then you took an almond and you grated that into the same bowl to a fine powder. 
and then you added some vanilla. So it is like a coconut, almond, vanilla type of a fragrance. It's very, it's very powdery. It's sweet and powdery, but it's almost bordering. It's so powdery, it's almost bordering on chalky. That's kind of what I get. But for some reason, I really like it. Um, lasts about five to six hours on me. So this is one of the ones that I really like and I'll be wearing this summer, Coco Extreme. So that does it for round one of the Coconut series. In a couple days, I will film round two. And then again, in about a month, I will take a look at everything I have and do a top 10 coconuts. I would love to hear what your favorite coconut fragrances are. And so thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And I will see you for the next one.